Disclaimer, all the characters and incident are fictional, everything is imaginary in this episode, so don't compare it with your life. You try to free your hand. JK, please, he left the grip from your hand. Right now, we are getting lead. He wrapped his arm around your shoulder. Let's go. You look at his eyes with your straight expressions. Now don't look at me like that. He walked and pulled you with him. But you look back for some seconds, then you again look straight. Why, Anne? No one is coming behind you. He will come, I know, you whispered. He was looking at your face. You were scared. You were biting your lips, then you press your lips together and gulp something, maybe your fear. Why, Anne? He softly tapped on your shoulder. Let's go. After some hours, you were standing in the front of glass windows and looked down. He come behind you. Why, Anne? You have not taken any lecture. So, what do you mean by so you come here for a study, not for standing here? It's not your problem, JK. I told you to stay away from me. It's better for you and for me, too. He hold your hand. So you immediately look at him. Why? I can't tell you the reason, but please stay away from me. Listen to me carefully. I can do anything you want, but not this. You are so good, but you don't know anything about me. You spoke while looking at his eyes. About my past, my past still creating problems for me. And it can create a big mess for you, if you stay with me. Well, ring then, he softly leaned down on your face. Your eyes become wide. He smiled. He softly tucked your hair behind your ear. I don't care about anything. Try to understand. I understand it, Vyan. He kisses your cheeks with his thumb. So you close your eyes. I am not like those who sees. They knows how to protect their woman. I just make you sure that he will never come in the front of you again. Now let's go. I'm hungry. I did not eat anything in lunchtime. Because you were not with me. I'm not going outside. You did not realize he called you his woman. What do you mean by you are not going? Anywhere? Did not you want to go home? No. Vyan, I can't believe you were that Vyan I met yesterday. How savage you were. Yesterday and today he hold your hand and walk to the downstairs while pulling you with him. JK, don't do this. Fake cry. You wrap your arm around your chest and look at him. What happened? This is one of the expensive restaurants of Spain. He cleared his throat and smiled. Vyan, I work here. Oh, but still, food is not free, right? It's free for those who work here. So don't worry. Stop holding my hand every after two seconds. This is what I was missing, your cold worry in. A smile appeared on your lips, but you hide it. What is his name? You immediately look at him. Stop it, JK. Don't talk about him again. Your ex-boyfriend? Not at all. Then, I told you I did not want to talk about it. No? Okay, fine. Don't ruin your mood. Just tell me what you want to eat. One week later, he passed him his mug of coffee. Thanks. I found, found all the information about that boy. Okay, tell me then. He is. First, promise me you won't get angry. I won't. Now tell me. He's David. David? Are you kidding me? No, it's true. They both were friends, Wyan and David. In his college days, she was working on restaurant these days. She just attract him and you already know what kind of boy he is. Even though both were friends, but he offered money to his dad for her. And when she tried to break their friendship, he tried to. But luckily she escaped and then she come here. Oh my god. He called me some days ago because he saw you with her. That's the reason I hate him. He's cruel. Calm down, Jungkook. I will handle him. Okay, don't worry about him. What about dad? You said his health is not good. Yeah, he is in the hospital. Good, very good. Jion? What? He cheated with my mom by marrying someone else who was a single mom. He deserved it. And his stepmother is David's mom. And David is his stepbrother. Still, he's your dad. 
Unfortunately. His phone rang up and came Tayang immediately pick up the call. What? What happened? Everything is alright? Tayang? What happened? Your dad passed away. You are kidding me? We have to go. You come on the rooftop of the building where you lived. But from the day JK came in your life, you think about him whenever you came here. You smile while walking. He's not that bad. You start scrolling his previous messages. You smile unconditionally. He knows how to flirt. You read his message. You were missing him. You wanted to call him right now, but you hold yourself back. Then suddenly your phone ringed up. You pick up the call. He was your dad on the call. Hello, dad. Why an? President June passed away, like son, like father. They just think they can buy anything with money. You rolled your eyes. Now his son will be. Take his seat. He will be the president. David? What if he tried to? You? No, David. I told you already. David is not his son. He's, he is his second wife's son. His own son is Jion Jungkook. He will be the president. Whatever, dad. Well, how's your boyfriend, JK? Dad, he is not my boyfriend. He will be a pub by. You immediately hang up the call. You put your hands in your chest, your heart were pounding. JK, you smile while blushing. Next day, you were in the university. Today, you wait for him in the front of the building more than an hour. You call him many times but his phone was off. You were worried about him but when you enter in that building you found out Jion JK named boy doesn't live here. I'm feeling like he betrayed me but he can't. He can't do this. He is not like that kind of boy. He never lied to me. He knows I hate lies. I have to wait for him. You come home. It was a hectic day. You sat on the couch. You turn on the TV. Let's watch something. Before you change the channel, your eyes become wide. The boy was on the TV screen. He made you shocked. It was a news channel and there, there was a breaking news about the new president of Korea. He was doing a live conference. And that breaking news break your heart badly. You doesn't know how to react on it. You just placed your hand in your chest. You was feeling pain inside you. Tears started falling on your cheeks. Take it, take it, Jungkook, David's brother? I can't. It can't be true. It's a lie. No, I can't believe this. You sat on the floor and cried as much you want. What happened? Nothing. I'm just thinking about Wyan. She probably find out about you. That's why she called you millions of times. She called me? Why did not you tell me? I turn off your phone and you are not going to contact her until you learn how to rule your country. She can be a distraction for you. He snitches phone from the young hand. Do you have any idea what are you saying? She can be a distraction for you but not for me. I love her. And I, I can't live without her. And the thing she find out, I know how to convince her. Next day, you were looking at the window. Liar. I never forgive you, JK. You break my trust. I was in love with you. You were not like that. No, why you are calling me? You pick up the call. Wayne, how are you? You didn't respond. Are you mad at me? I'm coming Spain next week. I will explain everything. I'm sorry, please talk to me. You were trying hardly, but now it was impossible. You started crying. Don't cry, please don't cry. I'm sorry, I know it's all my fault. I'm sorry, please don't cry. You close your eyes and lean back to the seat. Please don't do this. At least call me. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me how much you are angry on me. But don't be silent like that. I can't bear that. You did no response and ended up the call. How can I be angry on you when I love you? 
you look at the window. You make dinner for yourself and you were just about to eat when you remember something. Flashbacks some days ago. Why on? JK, I can eat by myself. I know that. But at least you can eat the first bite with my hand. You and your logics. You take a bite. Now happy? You spoke while eating. And he noted. Back to story. In these 10 days, he gave you thousands of memories which you can't escape. He used to feed you before he eat. He used to wait for you in every day before university. He used to make you laugh. And now you were crying, not because he hurt you, because he was your habit. Your habit turned into love. One week passed, but your routine was still the same. You went to university and after coming home, you think about him for hours. You were walking inside when you saw a car stop. You remember the car properly. This time you stand there and look at the car. The car driver opened the door and your heart started pounding. Jaihe? You immediately turned back. Before you rushed inside, someone hold your hand and turned you back. You did not need to think who it can be. You carefully remember the way he hold your hand. Ryan. You look around. He was not that JK you know. He was Jungkook, the president of Korea, who was standing in the front of you with his security all around him. Why well, look at me. You blink your eyes and did not want to cry again. At least not in the front of him. You can't look at his eyes. I'm sorry, Vyan. He looked at his guards and they immediately opened the gate of car. A boy come out and walk to you. You turn back. The boy sat on his knees in the front of you. You take back step. He doesn't care about with Jungkook's chest, but you do not want to be closer, not for an inch with that boy. Apologize, David. I'm sorry, Vyan. Um, did you just call her by her name? He immediately cleared his throat and looked down on your feet. I'm sorry, my queen. Please forgive me. I leave my family. I'm leaving away from them. Do you think your apology can fix everything? Please forgive me, my queen. Please, he turned his both hands. You can take back stuff. You were about to fall on Jungkook, but he was holding your hand. You jerk his hand and look at him. And you, do you think I will forgive you by doing all of this? My class is going to start. You look at his eyes for the last time and walk away. After pushing him aside. At least you are fine. And don't worry. Because now I come back. I won't go without you. Hate me all you want. Get mad at me. Get angry on me. I don't care. I just know one thing that I love you. And I never leave you. You were walking to your class. And there was nothing to you. Except tears in your eyes. You are so bad JK. No Jungkook. Your name is Jungkook. You are so bad. I want to hate you so badly, but I can't. You weep your tears with the back side of your hand and walk. But I can't. My heart never allows me to hate you. Some hours later, you were going home when you saw him walking behind you, but did, you did not turn back and walk towards the bus stop. Oh, and I'm sorry. You did not respond and just walk. He bite his lips and stopped you by holding your hand. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Just go away, JK. I mean, Jungkook. I can't. I just can't. Then stay here and let me go. I can't. He spoke while looking at your eyes. You can't? Huh? You can lie to me. When you know I hate it, then why you can't leave me? I lied. I was forced by my heart. When I saw you first time, you become my first night love. I know I'm wrong, but... When I found out you do not like rich boys, I just lie and pretend like I'm not from those, even though I know I was wrong. But believe me, my love is real. You love me, literally? Then leave me. You don't know why you said that. Maybe you were angry, that's why. His heart stopped for real. He looked at you, your swelled eyes and asked, you really want it? Yeah. He cleared his thro throat and looked down. Okay, if you want. Before he turned back, you hold his hand. 
what happened now? You are so bad, JK. I'm sorry. I you wanted to say you hate him but you did not He looked down to you. He knows what you want right now. You did not want him to leave you. You did not want to be alone. You just want him. Just him. He bent down a little and wrapped his arm around your waist. He placed his jaw on your shoulder. Please forgive me, my love. I really love you from the start. I can't live without you. Please forgive me. He hugged you tightly. Then he felt his shirt become wet. You were crying in his chest. I know you are angry on me. Punish me if you want, but don't cry like that. Why in? He tried to poke the hug. Don't just stay like this. He took a deep breath with a smile on his lips. He picked up you in his arm. So it mean you forgive me. You were sitting on his lap while your head were resting in his chest. Shut up. Your sudden response make him laugh. I'm sorry. I can put it as a be- beggar in the front of you. I said, shut up. Do you love me? Mean. You don't love me. You hate rich boys mean. Now you hate me. You squint your eyes and look at him. No, I don't hate you. I used to hate those kind of boys, but now I realize not everyone is like David and I love you or not. It doesn't matter. Tell me about you. Do you love me? I love you more than my life. You felt your cheeks turn red. You simply look away. I want to complete my studies. So who is stopping you? You can complete your studies. Not here. Then do you want to study somewhere else? He turned your face to him. Tell me where you want to study. I want to go back. I want to study in Korea. I miss my family. And also because now you will not be here with me. What will I do here without you? He can't believe what you just said. What? Nothing. He took good. He gave a back on your cheeks. I love you. You were blushing. Hmm? Okay. He laughed and hugged you. In the end, don't forget to subscribe my channel.